Now, a percentage, or sometimes called overage lease, involves a minimum monthly rent. They're going to add a percentage of the gross sales that this business has at the end of a year over a certain amount. Now, in real life, in case you want an example for where this might come into play, this would be used for an income producing property, usually something that's commercial or business related. And the best, most easy example I can think of would be a mall. You're a business renting a spot in a mall. You're going to pay a fixed monthly rent every month as it comes through the year. And then at the end of the year, anything you make over a specified amount in your contract, they're going to charge you a small percentage on as well. So the better you do as a business, the better the mall does as well. Everybody wins. So let's walk through an example together. Now at first we have a monthly minimum rent of $1,200 and they are going to charge 3% of the annual gross sales that exceed $350,000. So what will the annual rent for the year be if the annual gross sales for the business were $460,000 well, $460,200. So the first thing we need to do is determine how much of the gross sales are subject to the 3% charge. Now the contract said anything over 350,000. We did $460,200 worth. So we subtract those to get $110,200 as our difference. Now that will be the number that we take and multiply by 3%, or 0 0.03, once you change your percentage to a decimal. Or, for those of you that are more computer savvy, just hitting 3 than the percent sign. This will give you $3,306 is the value that you will have to pay due to what you had in your yearly sales, extra on top of your normal monthly rent. You want to find the grand total. Now we need to go $1,200 per every month for the year, which there's 12 months in a year. Multiply those, that comes to $14,400. And then we just simply add them together. So we take the 14,4, add it to the 3306, and we get $17,706 as the total rent at the end of the year.